right, this is the S270E 75R. This is a 230 volt three phase machine, 30 amps. Uh, this is a 10 and a half inch blast pattern, which would be 270 millimeters wide. We'll go ahead and fill the hopper up with shot. We use 330 shot. And when we fill the machine, we want to fill it right to the tray there in the blaster. Now the screen is removable. This will catch any large debris or anything, stop it from getting inside the blast wheel. We also put some shot here on the floor and what this is going to do is prime the magnets on the machine. So we'll just roll the machine over a little bit, try to get all the shot on the, on the magnets. And what this will do is create a barrier to the floor with shot, prevent any of the shot from escaping out from underneath the blaster. Now the controls of the S270, 75R, are pretty similar to like our 40R. What we have here is we have our control on, that starts the control. We have our blast wheel on, which will start our blast wheel. We have our speed pod to control the traveling speed of the machine. We have an hour meter here, and we have our amp meter so we can watch our amps as we're blasting. Now one other feature this machine has is we'll have a blast wheel selector switch for forward or reverse. What this does is change the rotation of the motor. Now we're going to want to check our rotation every time you blast or anytime you hook up to a new power source because um, that can change the rotation of the motor. So it's always one thing to do a quick check to make sure you're blasting with the right rotation. All right, so here we'll go ahead and check our rotation. We check our rotation by watching the fan inside the blast motor spin. I'll put some light on it so you guys can see it. Okay, as you can see there, the fan is spinning the wrong direction. So to go ahead and change your rotation, I'm just gonna flip our blast wheel direction switch. So now our rotation should be correct. All right, and that looks good. You always want to make sure that the fan is spinning the same direction as what the indication arrow on the top of the motor says. 270-75R has an adjustable handle so we can go ahead and raise and lower the handle. I'm going to raise it up a little bit for my height and also so we can hook up our dust hose. Bring this up, lock it in place. All right, first what we're gonna do is demonstrate what not to do when operating the machine. But first we'll go ahead and get it started up, turn our control panel on. We'll go ahead and turn our blast wheel on. You're gonna let it come all the way up to full speed. All right, now what you do not wanna do is let it just sit in one spot and blast, like this. As you can see, it is a whole lot heavier where we started. We kind of created a divot in the floor there. So what we want to do is when we start this off, we want to start traveling as we start blasting. Now what makes this machine so unique is being a 10 and a half machine, a 10 and a half inch blast machine. It's very compact being a forward walking machine and it has the same wheel design as like our 40R and the S210 with that front swivel caster. That makes it really easy to turn around and start our next pass. When we start our next pass, what we're gonna wanna do is overlap our last pass, the width of the magnet.
And when we come to a stop, what we're going to do is feather out of it. So we shut off the shot, but we we let the wheels keep turning. All right, right down here we have the control cage. Um, this is what controls the the shot, the blast pattern itself. We have two little notches here that will indicate like the opening in the window of the control cage. A good starting point for the control cage is 8:30 and 10:30. That's where we're going to want to set it. Um, and then if you need to adjust the control cage from there, you can turn it up slightly or down to spread, to spread out the blast pattern across the floor. How the shot works in the system is the shot will come from the blast wheel here, down and hit the floor, come up the rebound plenum, and inside the hopper. And in there, it's going to separate the dust from the shot so the shot can be reused as the dust just goes through the hose. The blast wheels on this machine should be changed around every 50 hours and the liners around 100. Um, you always want to check your liners for wear. What you don't want is basically to wear a hole through the side of the liner because that can cause damage to the blast housing itself. Now on the S270E75R, a unique feature on this is that you can actually remove this side magnet here and put this plate right there so you can get real close to an edge. You can use the machine as an edger as you're blasting along this left side of the machine. One of these plates do come with every machine. One thing you never want to do on one of these machines is while the machine is operating you never want to tip back on the handle because the shot will fly everywhere. Also when running the machine how to adjust the profile itself. You want to adjust the profile by controlling the speed of the machine. You can go slower for a deeper profile, you can go faster for a lighter profile. <laughs>